Hello everyone, this is the Duck 2 and welcome to another Fabric Mod Pack overview. This time on Client Side Pack, a mod that adds a bunch of different mods related to uh, performance, quality of life, and additional things like craft presence for Discord related stuff. So we'll go through the pack, uh, version 1.2.1. Uh, there is older versions if you want to have lesser mods and don't want to have to go through the newest version and disable them um, but I'm not sure how much changes between each um, obviously to install it just pretty much just have multi-mc copy the file and then you're good to go or just download it I guess and then import it um, if you wanted to as well locally onto the pack though as you can see from the mod menu got certain libraries, you've got apple skin for your um, additional benefits to the hunger bar, you've got auto switch for auto switching tools, you've got automatic fishing as well as certain things you can configure it for, information inside bee nests and hives um, such as how many bees, the names of the bees and honey inside it, dynamic fps for performance, Durability viewer for tools and armor to give additional information. Uh, scrolling through inventories in a certain way. Uh, a light overlay so you can tell for mobs. Uh, benefits for building and using schematics and such. Uh, optimization, so performance. Uh, configurable elements for the F3 menu, pretty sure. Mod menu, which is what we're using now to check uh, what mods are installed. Certain benefits for um, GUIs in the inventory, so scrolling. Um, doing certain other stuff like inventory tweaks or mouse tweaks, pretty much. Uh, health bars over mobs, as, as well as a bunch of other customizable elements. Optimization, so performance and other additional benefits. Your recipe, cheat and otherwise. Finding out what's inside a shulker box. Other configurable elements. A minimap and a zoom mod. So obviously once you boot it up you can have access to obviously voxel map, REI for finding out what's available, which obviously since it's a more performance, quality of life and vanilla focused pack, um, there isn't any additional things like tools, blocks, or otherwise, it's just only vanilla, so you can obviously find recipes, cheat them in, and so on. Uh, for the Discord aspect, you can use the tilde or grave. I'm trying to remember what it's set up as. Uh, let's see, I've got to remember. Obviously, there's a bunch of controls you can configure as well. Some of these, I'm trying to find where it went. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Uh, let's see. Uh, Interesting. Hmm. No, I don't know what happened there, because it's definitely supposed to be one Tilde or Grave, but for some reason it's not there. It must have been removed from this version. Um, but either way, it's supposed to, unless I'm just not able to get it showing for whatever reason. Um, but that pretty much just adds a lot of um, Discord support. So if you wanted to say in that what you're doing in the mod pack, whether it be you're in the overworld or certain other specific things to connect with Discord, you can obviously use that as well. Otherwise though, thanks so much for watching and goodbye.